It is the biggest news in electronics in Australia this week. Uh, Dick Smith has been acquired in part by Kogan, Ruslan Kogan, who of course runs an online uh, electronics empire. He's bought the rights to run Dick Smith online. The retail stores are still dead, but also, crucially, the email list behind it. To talk about the marriage between Kogan and Dick Smith, we have digital creator from MNC Saatchi, John O'Seidler, and technology journalist from the technology website CNET, Claire Riley. What do you make of the marriage between Kogan and Dick Smith? It's funny because Dick Smith is legacy brand in Australia around since the 60s and Kogan has always positioned himself as the cocky young upstart. Yeah, that was deliberate and I didn't mean to make such serious eye contact as I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's always kind of played as the young savvy guy, particularly against Harvey Norman, Norman Jerry yeah. Harvey. But I think it's interesting. He's probably taken an opportunistic buy and what's really interesting for me and I'd be interested in the kind of marketing advertising side of it is he's not just buying the brand, he's buying a pretty successful, already established, like the infrastructure of the online store is set to go and I'm sure they'll get a lot of learning out of that, but he's buying a database of customers oh, and that's, that's the really big win. Nice. Yeah. I think it's still... Dick Smith himself, which unfortunately that those two things aren't linked no. anymore, but there is a really, really strong brand in him and I think a lot of people still do make that connection even mm. though he's not there anymore. And every time anything happens with the company and a lot of things have happened with the company over the years, someone always calls up Dick goes, so this thing that you haven't owned for decades, what do you reckon? He's <laughs> like, can we not? Can yeah. we not talk about this? The dangers of eponymy. <laughs> but I guess that's the thing when you, when you sell your name, really, yeah. isn't it? The database is interesting. I mean, I saw this great op-ed in which this guy just went to town. He said, like, Kogan is terrible, Dick Smith is terrible, it's a marriage made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> They're awful people. Yeah, they and deserve then, each other. Because I'm a masochist, I read all of the comments of course. underneath it because I just I really do love doing that. And there are people kind of going in, they're going into bat for Kogan, um, yeah. a lot of them, and a lot of them are actually saying, no, you know what, Dick Smith is actually a really strong brand. I do trust them. And I don't know who these people are. And if Kogan just, has a following, though. Yeah. He's got this sort of, He's you bring very cheap products guy. when we can't buy stuff online very cheaply yeah. in Australia. You know, this idea that he's a bit of a challenger, he's kind of appealing to the younger consumer. Self-made man, right? Yeah. The mailing list is incredible, right? The idea that you can just get access to that, just buy it wholesale, it's yours. <laughs> I mean, they've said that they're going to, you have like a one-week opt-out Yeah, can uh, I just have time? a moment? <laughs> You have seven days to get yourself off the mailing list. Now, I'm not telling you what to do, and I don't have a vested interest either way, but as someone who's a massive privacy narc, take yourself off that database because you signed up for something when you may not even remember that you've signed up, but if you've bought something from Dick Smith, you signed up for their newsletter, your details are in their system, and now they're not being used for the original purpose. It's perfectly legal within Australian privacy law. Yeah, that was a fun thing to read last week. Your personal data is so much more valuable because of the way it can track what you spend, how you spend, how you can be targeted, block your ears, Jono, for By advertising. advertising. Um, but, I love having you talk about it. It's very entertaining. It's, think, but it is. That's the most, I mean, that is the most valuable part of this acquisition, mm, I think, yeah. for him, to be perfectly honest, what? because the rest of it is kind of dead in the water and he has access to all of this stuff anyway. Yeah, and it was a bulk buy. I think he had to buy the website and the online properties if he was going to get the database. Realistically, in terms of what they offered to customers, wasn't that different? If you wanted affordable, non-brand name electronics, Dick Smith and, and Kogan were sort of the same offer. So in that sense, it does make sense, like the, in terms of the brand offer, surely. Mm. Mm. But, I mean, Kogan has really spun out from just being electronics. He does mobile now. There's Kogan Travel. He's been really savvy and he's taken that brand that people really know and he's selling across a number of markets. So maybe I see Dick Smith being the kind of continuing as a tech brand and then he'll kind of focus more on the other Kogan brands. There are people who also remember seeing Dick Smith in supermarkets, yeah. you know what I mean, non supermarkets and shopping malls. So by taking that brand as opposed to Kogan where there are still there's still a large contingent of people who don't know what Kogan is and who don't yeah. shop with Kogan. Now he's they're going to see Dick Smith and he's using a different funnel to hit those people, right? He's going to sell the same cut price TV, yeah. right? But the fact of the matter is is that like if my grandfather happens to stumble, you know, onto Google and starts looking for TVs, he's not going to know what Kogan means, but he knows what Dick Smith means and that I think is important. Yeah. See, I think there's something really interesting you hit on there which is also not only are uh, the, the two businesses in terms of what they offer very similar, but also the brands themselves. And when I say brands, I mean the men mm. um, that, that embody the two brands are very similar as well. It's all about, you know, Russell and Kogan, his whole model of how to kind of sell himself. And he's a very engaging guy. It's innovative, Challenging. upstart, challenger. It's all those things that Dick Smith He's come so far in just a short period of time. Yeah. It's only been 10 years. Um, and he's built such an empire and good on him. 
All right, there is lots more in the audio edition of Download This Show, which is live right now on the RN website. We'll see you there. Bye, guys.